I know I said in one video, probably not with these words, that if you want a nicely organized curriculum with um, separate classes covering different subjects, each in their own time slots, on a Monday to Friday timetable, in each subject with its own textbook, you should go to Bunker Fashion College. <laughs> what? I know, I'm gonna get to CSM. Back to my little speech. One thing that really annoyed me at Bunker Fashion College was that it felt too much like high school. And I just wanted to learn what I had to learn so I could just go on and make the clothes that I actually wanted to to make. Great attitude, right? Like, how could anyone put up with me? But since I do believe that nobody's born arrogant and entitled, including myself, uh, let me think, where did I get this from? How did I become this kind of student with this mindset that I just need to learn A, B, and C because I need to get to EFG and then get my XYZs better and faster than everyone else. Woo! Diva. Or more specifically, high school nerd diva. That was me. I was the student who was obsessed with grades because the only goal of my education was to pass the entrance exams to um, the top universities in Brazil. And um, in Brazil, where I'm from, that is pretty much the norm. There are no clubs, no extracurricular activities. And uh, my high school was so like early legit that we didn't even have a graduation ceremony, party, anything. Classes were from 7.40 a.m., I think, until 12.40. Then you'd either go back home and watch TV, play video games, whatever, for the rest of the day, or your mom would fill up your afternoon with like English courses here and some sporty activities there. I only ended up going to a uh, drawing and painting course because my neighbor at the time when I was like 10 years old started going and I thought, oh, okay, that sounds drawing, sounds cool, sounds fancy. <laughs> um, apart from that, I had virtually zero artistic education. Come on, I didn't grow up going to museums. Like I was... Brazilian from the middle class in a small city. <laughs> like The dream was to go to Disney World in Orlando and uh, buy a Hard Rock Cafe jumper. Oof, ooh, so cringe. Jesus. Whew. Okay, yeah. Um, I was a nerd from a small city that in a country that's not in Europe. I went to private school, which is not something that fancy in Brazil. I think any parents with like good enough income will keep their will try to keep their kids away from the public schools. And my job was to get good grades. And uh, if I got good grades, everyone was happy. Mom was happy. School director is happy because that meant that I would also get into a good university and ke keep the school's uh, reputation going on. Now, I don't want to say you should not sit down and study when you have something you need to learn, especially for a standardized test, like a university entrance exam, for example, or language proficiency exams are like this. But I think it's too easy to look at success stories of people who ditch conventional education and then immediately just jump to the conclusion that school is for chumps. At the same time, you're gonna need a more sophisticated approach to really benefit from studying in a like a proper arts and design school because the second say about CSM's case. 
there aren't really like classes and subjects and then you have tests with questions that you can answer with knowledge or formulas from a book mm. you're gonna have to present work that you've um, done independently sometimes you think that you are doing your very best but the tutors are not seeing it and instead they're just giving you very harsh critiques or sometimes they're just gonna full-on despise the work that you put so much effort into and that you honestly thought it was very beautiful but they're hating it and uh, when that happens you're gonna need so much maturity to bounce back and just see the constructive side of it and um, I think you're also going to need a lot of love and support from the people around you. So when I get random emotional DMs from people, yes, of course, my first reaction is always a little bit like, oof, oh, oof, eesh. but I then think about myself back in the day and I worry like, what is actually going on in this person's life? that they're coming to a stranger for this love and support. And that brings me to the other thing I was lacking once I finished high school. I still needed a lot of parenting, but my parents didn't have a clue about this career that I wanted to pursue. We didn't share the same interests and also they were going for their own thing. They couldn't just focus on me and I developed this constant panicky feeling that I had so much of my on my plate but I had no one to count on and um, yeah that is the kind of mindset that people don't just snap out of it just because now you're adults so um yeah I think I'm gonna stop here I reckon I didn't tell you much about what basic education is like in Brazil because um, that's actually not the point because um, I think I did touch on the important thing here, which is that particular student mindset of just tell me what to do so I can get done with it already. Kind of like when you're a kid and you do homework just to finish it. And um, for a lot of people asking me about CSM, that kind of translates to tell me what I need to put on my portfolio already because I need to get into CSM ASAP because um, I need to do my photo shoots with Ed Camaras and Carmen Suriana and then get a job at Margiela so then I can go to Balenciaga and um, yeah, by the way, love your work, thank you! Alright, you guys are not being that transactional. This is me reading between the lines. So I've been there and I know these unspoken wishes but I think you have a much better experience if you do what I did not back in the day, which is empty your cup, don't obsess over what you're supposed to achieve by the end of your higher education, because you're gonna make real progress, but not in the way that you expect. And uh, progress that for better or for worse is not quantifiable with a test. That becomes really obvious once you start to notice that not everyone with a CSM diploma is rich and successful. Many people come out with mostly trauma and student debts. Uh, so yeah, I always end up talking about the damn fucking money. The topic no one wants to look into like too hard, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to make a video about this and it's gonna be painful. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.